DPI, or dots per inch, is a common term used in the printing industry that denotes resolution. However, if you're working in Photoshop, it's actually PPI, or pixels per inch, that you should care about. The two are roughly related and approximately the same, and a general understanding of resolution is important because it allows you to reassign how the picture will be printed. Let's take a look at an image here. In this case, I have opened up a Photoshop file and I want to check the original resolution. You'll notice this down here at the bottom edge of the screen, and if you click and hold, you'll see some details about the width and the height. In this case, it's currently displaying that using a pixel count. If I click the pop-up menu here, I can actually change this and take a look at other properties here if I'd like to. Now, with the rulers available, you can also click on your rulers and switch how they measure. For example, I switch to inches here. And now I see that this is currently indicating that it's going to display as about 42 inches across. But that 42 inches is dependent on using a pixels per inch of only 72, which is generally considered acceptable for screen size. So what we want to do here is take a look at the actual image size menu item. Under image, you could choose image size, and this allows you to understand what's going on with the particular image. In this case, I'm going to uncheck the resample option. Resampling is useful when you want to adjust an image and make it smaller or larger. Here, I simply want to change how it's going to print. So in this case, I'm going to set this from 72 pixels per inch to a more common 300 for printing purposes. Now, if we take a look at this, I can switch these units and see what the approximate print size is going to be. And with the current crop, it's close to a 10 by seven. When you click okay, nothing effectively changes in the image. That's because the total pixel count was preserved. But if you look down here at the status bar, you see that it's updated to define how this would actually print. In this case, we've reassigned the resolution for printing and if I were to choose to print this image on a standard printer, it would come out at about the 10 by seven size. Now there's many other ways to deal with this when you choose file print. You'll also notice that inside the Photoshop dialog box, you can assign information about what you're printing to. And for example, you can decide to scale it to actually fit your output media if necessary. So in this case, depending upon the paper you have loaded, you could do additional scaling to get something to really fit that based on how the printer is going to output the file. Having a core understanding of how pixels per inch and dots per inch work is gonna be important, particularly if you intend to actually output your files for printing on a device.